Hey, my name is Zeus Zapato, a writer for Healing Maps, and let me tell you about one of the wildest, if not the wildest, psychedelic neuroscience theory ever! People always ask me, what's one of the wildest psychedelic theories that could change humanity if it were true? And I always say it's the psilocybin telomere hypothesis by Christopher German. You know what psilocybin is, which is the psychoactive ingredient in magic mushrooms, and you already know what a hypothesis is. So what's a telomere? Sounds like a Gen Z Teletubby, and maybe it will be one day, but it's not that. Telomeres are little end caps on your chromosomes. While your chromosomes contain your DNA, the end cap telomeres on these chromosomes are made up of protein. Essentially, the same stuff your DNA is made of, but there's no structure to it. It's just like a bundle of end cap goo. These telomeres are super important. They protect chromosomes from genetic damage, basically making sure that these chromosomes don't attach to random shards of random broken DNA. Lots of randos in your body, by the way. The inside of you is like a college house party. Telomeres are also super important when chromosomes replicate. When replication happens, telomeres break off some of their protein and chromosomes recombine it into DNA. Think of telomeres like piles of ingredients that a chef uses to make an incredibly dope genetic meal. This is a normal process that happens throughout life. Chromosomes replicating and telomeres, the end caps, eventually being reduced in length due to genetic ingredients being used over and over again. So it's no surprise that shortened telomeres are equivalent to aging. That's right, as you get older, these telomeres get shorter until there's really no telomere left. Your chromosomes have no end cap protection. They're just completely bare and exposed to the elements like a streaker on a football pitch. But this is where things can go wrong. When these telomeres are depleted, your cells enter a state of senescence. Basically, they can't replicate, which is a massive problem with aging. Eventually, skin tissue starts to get thin and wrinkly. Stem cell production is no more. Even entire organ systems can fail. You know, just getting old. Telomeres are great markers of genetic age, but interestingly enough, not a great marker when it comes to a person's actual age. The reason for this is throughout life, things we do can actually shorten these telomeres. Things like chronic stress can shorten telomeres. Major depression is also associated with reduced telomere length. Even obesity and elevated cortisol levels are linked with shortened telomeres. This may be why some people are like 24 years old, but look and act like they're going on 50. Also, why people that are like 55 look and act like they're 30. You may say, oh, well, Zeus, it's just genetics. Well, what do you think DNA, chromosomes, and telomeres are? A large portion of telomere length is actually determined at birth, at least before adulthood. However, telomere length can be stabilized and, in some instances, regrow. Lifestyle factors like eating healthy, exercising, having a positive outlook on life, these are all factors associated with longer telomere length. Basically, all the stuff you already know you should be doing, it's that stuff. But can shortened telomeres grow again? Ah, now enters the psilocybin telomere hypothesis. It states telomeres serve as psychobiomarkers regulated by psychological factors, not necessarily age. These psychological factors have been seen throughout psychedelic research. Stuff like neurogenesis and spinogenesis, which is the regrowth and restrengthening of brain cells. Uh, the increase of brain-derived neurotropic factor, or BDNF. Even things like feeling good after a trip. The psilocybin telomere hypothesis basically states that it would be nearly impossible for all these beneficial mechanisms to occur without telomere regrowth. Telomeres can regenerate and regrow. In 2010, Mariah Lojackelsoff discovered that genetic aging can be reversed in mice with the introduction of telomerase which is an enzyme that protects telomeres. Those two words, so confusing, I know. So if the hypothesis is correct, it would show that psilocybin can stabilize, even reverse genetic aging. <sighs> That's a massive if though. It's easy to view psychedelics as some cure-all substance, especially when society is craving a cure-all for whatever we call civilization. But 
If someone really wanted to prove this hypothesis correct, a psychedelic scientist can throw in telomere length analysis with their next clinical psychedelic research. It's pretty cheap, like a thousand or so. Or better yet, give me the money, I'll do it. Actually, actually give me extra money, cause like, why not?